Good morning from America. Good evening to everybody in uh, Europe and the Middle East. Um, consumer expectations, changing demographics, and the democratization of tech have really shifted uh, SMBs to the cloud. And there's been over a 100% increase in SaaS adoption rates in the past four years. Um, and COVID's completely accelerated this. Today, I'd like to take a look at Wix as an inspiration and to show you how you can compete with them uh, in your markets by capturing small businesses by leading with websites. My name is Matt Baturja. I'm VP of Global Sales at Mono Solutions, and I've been helping small businesses both directly and indirectly through partner organizations get online and market themselves digitally uh, for the past decade. These numbers probably won't surprise anyone on the call, but um, the global pandemic has absolutely decimated small businesses in many ways. As the world economy started to shut down in March and April, many SMBs sadly closed their doors and never reopened. Um, unfortunately, many won't make it through the next six to 12 months. However, um, while SMBs have faced a lot of uncertainty and while they've been staring down the barrel of the gun of this global pandemic, almost overnight, they've been completely forced to accelerate their digital transformation. So the restaurants had to scramble to get their menus online and to set up online ordering. Um, stores had to set up e-commerce. Even service professionals were looking at, at ways to connect with their customers by um, having virtual appointments and things like that. Bottom line, essentially, small businesses at the drop of a dime had to basically learn how to transact online. So we're seeing this, I mean, this is why we're essentially seeing an explosion of both adoption of, of online presence as well as e-commerce. 56% um, of small businesses actually have invested in e-commerce websites just since March alone. Um, and this goes with sort of the, the broader macroeconomic trends where we've seen e-commerce actually grow more in the last eight months than it has in the last 10 years. Um, and so it may in many ways not be a surprise that uh, we've seen companies like Wix who target small businesses and help them transact online, they've also had explosive growth um, and really unprecedented growth during the pandemic. Um, in fact, Wix has experienced over 200% growth uh, since March and their market cap now at $17 billion actually makes them the largest hosting company in the world, surpassing GoDaddy, which is just crazy. Um, and I think the question that any digital service provider, cloud hosting provider should ask themselves is, maybe how can I replicate this, this success? And Wix, while they've primarily been seen as a, 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 just a website builder, I think what's really been key to their success is that they've been able to capture the small business and then monetize them over, over time. So while Wix sells a lot of, of domains, a ton of domains, um, and they'd certainly host a lot of websites. In fact, they're actually also one of the largest Google G Suite resellers in the world. They don't actually lead with those products. They don't lead with hosting domains or G Suite. They lead with websites, um, which is, you know, quite candidly, it's a, a relatively cheap, cheap website product. But this is the opportunity for cloud hosting providers uh, to compete with Wix is to maybe readjust their thoughts onto how can I reflect Wix and, and also lead with websites. And this is what we call at Mono the website opportunity. So if we look at the total addressable SMB market, in the US still today, there are 40% of businesses, um, and these numbers of course are pre-pandemic, but 40% of businesses don't have a website. Um, and in fact, if you look at WordPress websites globally, uh, only 17% actually have e-commerce enabled on, on these websites. So there's a huge opportunity in websites in general. But if we zoom in a little bit and we look at service models, we actually commissioned at Mono Solutions, we commissioned a study with a U.S. organization, a local search organization called Locology, that surveyed small businesses about what products they prefer to do themselves versus uh, what products and services they actually looked to, uh, to outsource and have done for them. 
And actually, this study wasn't just specific to websites. Uh, it looked at a broad uh, product set of both foundational um, online services as well as digital marketing. And um, you know, if reach out to me after the show, I'm happy to send you the full report. But looking at websites uh, in themselves, it was interesting to find that um, while a lot of SMBs want to DIY, in fact, uh, do it yourself, 36% of small business prefer to DIY, and, and that's a pretty large portion of the market, of course, and, and that's one that Wix has been successful tapping into. What was a little, maybe a little bit more surprising, especially for folks on, on this call, is that 46% of small businesses which is the vast majority actually said, we want help. Uh, and we prefer to work with a, a service provider that can do it for us. Uh, and this is a number of reasons, for a number of reasons, of course, um, time, like a budget, expertise, et cetera. But the bottom line is we consistently see that small businesses need help. And while, SMBs still want to have that control and transparency when managing their web presence as they do with platforms like Wix. I believe at Mono uh, that do it yourself just simply is not enough. And, you know, that's why I think a lot of cloud service providers, they've tried certain DIY platforms. They've, you know, they've stood up um, a, a site builder. Maybe they sent some traffic but they haven't really gotten the engagement that's you know, warranted a really nice business. Um, you, know, you may have seen low conversion rates, um, higher churn, lack of engagement. And I think uh, from my perspective, what's been missing is essentially you have these businesses that have come to you that have said, I need a website, I need a domain, I need to get online, and then they get stuck. And at that moment when they get stuck, there hasn't been this guiding hand uh, at that right moment to add a little bit of layer of service and expertise uh, to actually get that, that SMB over what we call uh, that engagement cliff. Um, and so we think that the right service model for small businesses is what we call do it for me. And that is essentially the sweet spot and the intersection between time, skills, and budget where you can provide that that help to the SMB and sort of bridge that gap between do it yourself on one side and do it for me on the other side uh, and meet the SMB where they are. Um, it's all about essentially giving that SMB um, a nudge when they need it. Um, bringing in these SMBs through a funnel, helping them when they need help, and then looking again towards uh, towards Wix as that um, as that example to strive for with that really high ARPU, using that platform now to upsell other services, um, whether it be you know different add-ons, whether it be software, whether it be services to really increase that ARPU. I think that's you know I went back to ARPU being some of the success factors for Wix. And I actually think that's uh, the real opportunity for cloud service providers today is bringing the SMB, essentially providing great technology, a layer of service and a layer of guidance where you can actually make this uh, a meaningful business. Um, and of course, that's where, uh, where Mono Solutions, that's where we hope to, to help you. And that's where we hope to step in and help you succeed. So. Uh, of course, not to make this a, a complete sales pitch, but in short, what is Mono? Mono Solutions is a white label web presence platform designed for servicing SMBs at scale. Um, we help our partners um, both monetize scale and grow their, their digital offerings with a modern website builder and a complementary suite of, of digital products uh, that essentially allow businesses to exceed online by helping them transact online, get online and transact online. Uh, we do this all in a white label manner. Um, we work with large hosting and telco companies around the world, both in playing the technology piece, the guidance piece, as well as the service layer. So I want to thank everybody for their time. Um, we do have a booth here at the, the virtual conference. Um, so please stop by that. I have some of my colleagues from our Copenhagen office that are available for chat. 
throughout the entire conference. Um, I'm also available uh, if you'd like to send me an email. I have my email address here on the slide, mm at monosolutions.com. We look forward to, to connecting with you. And we also look forward to helping you uh, both capture SMBs in your market and, and really help them succeed online. So with that, I think I still have a little time for some Q&A. Um, otherwise, I appreciate your time. Hey, thanks for the, the kind words. Um, I do have one question here uh, from, from the crowd asking if I can elaborate a little bit on the need for e-commerce right now. Um, and I'm happy to do that. So I mentioned at the top of the call that, uh, you know, e-commerce of course has exploded. I think everyone in this with their own consumer behavior, but we've seen from the numbers that e-commerce has actually increased more in the last eight months than it has in the last 10 years. Um, the other interesting fact there is that surprisingly, uh, maybe to, my, to me, maybe not to everyone, is that 50% of the transactions, uh, e-commerce transactions globally are still happening on the owned website outside of the marketplaces like Amazon, eBay, and others, which is why uh, it's, it's probably more important than ever between the consumer behavior as well as um, the fact that that is ha happening on websites. Consumers are going to sites to look to transact it's more important than ever to, to offer e-commerce for, for your SMBs. Um, just looking at our own business, we've seen um, a complete explosion in, in adoption and e-commerce over, over the last eight months. Um, you know, historically it had uh, candidly been uh, a small part of our business um, and, and that's been growing quite rapidly. Uh, and if, uh, if I'm looking at uh, some of the folks in the audience, I think it's definitely important to add e-commerce to, to the product stack if you haven't already. Okay, I think that that seems to be it. So again, thanks for your time and, and look forward to connecting with all of you in the rest of the conference.